Remember that bright red liquid your mom used to put on your cuts and scrapes when you were a kid? The one that stained like crazy and maybe stung a little bit? Chances are, that was mercurochrome. A staple of medicine cabinets for decades, this iconic antiseptic seems to have mysteriously vanished. In this video, we'll dive into the world of mercurochrome, explore its rise and fall, and reveal where it stands today. In the early 20th century, medical science was advancing rapidly, and antiseptics were all the rage. Mercurochrome, with its vibrant red color and ease of use, quickly rose to prominence. It was the go, to choice for cleaning minor cuts, burns, and scrapes, a reassuring presence in every household. The secret ingredient in mercurochrome is a chemical called merbromin. And yes, you might have guessed it, it contains mercury. Mercury, a shiny silvery metal in your wound treatment? Sounds a bit alarming, doesn't it? Mercury, as we all know, is a toxic substance, even in trace amounts. Concerns started to emerge about the use of mercury in something as common as a household antiseptic. The FDA, responsible for drug safety in the United States, decided to take a closer look. The FDI didn't ban mercurochrome outright initially. However, they decided it needed much more rigorous testing before being declared safe for widespread use. And so begins its long journey towards disappearing from us pharmacy shelves. Mercury wasn't the only issue. That signature red stain? It actually caused more problems than it solved. You see, a doctor needs to be able to see if a wound is getting infected. Redness and swelling are key signs, but that bright mercurochrome, TEM, stain masked those vital indicators, potentially delaying treatment. Necessity is the mother of invention. With mercurochrome under scrutiny, the search for safer and more effective alternatives began. Iodine with its powerful antiseptic properties and theomersal, also known as merthiolate, emerged as clear winners Slowly but surely, mercurochrome faded into a nostalgic memory. It became a symbol of medicine from a bygone era, popping up in old movies and books but rarely seen in real life. Here's a twist in the tale. Mercurochrome didn't disappear worldwide. Many countries, including our neighbors Mexico and Canada, still use it without restrictions. Is this a matter of different regulations, or does the science tell a more complex story? Believe it or not, research is revealing potential benefits of merbromin beyond just being a wound cleaner. Some studies suggest it might even have antifungal properties. This raises fascinating questions about potential future uses, with far more rigorous safety studies, of course. So, could we see a mercurochrome comeback in the US? It's highly unlikely. The safety concerns and the existence of better alternatives make it a long shot. But its story teaches us an important lesson, how medical understanding constantly evolves. While mercurochrome has fallen out of favor in the U.S. and a few other countries, it's fascinating to note that a good chunk of the world still considers it a perfectly valid antiseptic. Why the discrepancy? Part of it comes down to different regulations and varying interpretations of the safety data. Additionally, in some developing nations, mercurochrome, team, remains a widely accessible and affordable treatment option. The intriguing hints about the potential antifungal properties of merbromin demand a closer look. But let's be very clear. We're talking about highly controlled laboratory studies not self-experimentation at home. There's a long road between a promising concept and a safe, approved treatment. The journey of a possible mercurochrome team. Resurgence, if it were to happen, would be long and full of scientific hurdles. The very mention of mercury sparks fear, and rightly so. It's a potent neurotoxin. But here's where things get complicated. The amount of mercury in mercurochrome is minuscule. No study has conclusively linked everyday use of mercurochrome with mercury poisoning. That said, when it comes to something as powerful as mercury, is playing it safe the wiser option? This is the crux of the debate. 
There's no denying the nostalgia tied to Mercurochrome. For generations, that red stain meant a problem being taken care of. However, we now know there are safer and more effective ways to treat minor wounds. Nostalgia is powerful, but in the realm of medicine, science, and rigorous testing need to be our guide. Even though it's unlikely you'll find mercurochrome at your local drugstore, its story serves as a potent reminder. Medical understanding is never static. What was considered cutting edge yesterday might be obsolete tomorrow. It's the constant questioning, the pursuit of safer and better solutions that drives progress. What did you think about the story of mercurochrome? Did you grow up with it? Are you surprised by its continued use in other parts of the world? Let's get a discussion going in the comments down below. And if you found this journey into medical history interesting, please consider liking and subscribing for more fascinating content on the evolution of medicine.